boring wedding to go to or convention. Um, you, know, just kidding. <laughs> you can wear this wherever you need to go, wherever you need to do. And then when you get home, or back to your hotel room, you can still have sex with it in. So it's going to stay in place, and he's just going to push in. Once you have this in, we'll loop him up a little bit. It's going to push it more into the G spot, so vibrate on the head of his penis. And you still have G spot and clitoral stimulation <coughs> during sex. So lots of different things you can do with this thing. Definitely makes things a lot more interesting. So this is our We Vibe 4 Plus. Comes in hot pink or slate blue. All right, and then we have Mimi. Anybody heard about Mimi before? <laughs> I'm not talking about your mom. <laughs> All right, so Mimi is the elusive threesome. He's always wanted the only girl you can trust your man with, okay? She's got three section chambers, with nice lips, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can use this together. It's gonna be really interesting. They can make glass toy and do this on. Um, so, but I always like to use a good edible lubricant. Um, is really the best product to go with this. This comes in vanilla and strawberry. You want to lube up Mimi and lube up him. I'm just going to lube up Mimi because I have a glass toy to do this on. Um, yeah, go on my work better. Thank you. So I like to call this lubricant sucky. Rhymes with sucky. Mm. Bad word. I'm not allowed to say it. Okay, sauce. At parties, people go crazy about it. So. Um, people think that's hilarious, okay, but that's what I call it because it's vaginally friendly and it's edible, okay? I had to watch my language. <laughs> so, you put this on him all the way down, okay? Now you can go up and down and round and round. She needs more lube, she's dry. <laughs> go up and down and round and round. Okay? It's a lazy girl's hand job. Okay? You can just suck on the head of the penis and do the wrist motion. It's all about the wrist motion. Okay? So you don't have to like gag and have it down your throat and stuff. If he's large and well endowed, you can slide it down and jump on top and use it as a bumper between you guys. Or you can have Mimi, or yeah, Mimi do the sucking for you. You pull it up. All right? Now this makes suction. You go round and round, front to back, side to side. Glow boy doesn't stay as hard as a real penis, so this looks kind of funky. Um, so <laughs> he's, he's like going with it, and it normally would be like, mm. okay. So you get the idea. You can do all types of tricks that you can't do with your mouth, all right? The best part about it is you can make Mimi swallow. So you take this right to the tip underneath the head of the penis. Oops, I slid it right off. Too much glue. I'm going to have glue all over my hands. All right. So hold it right underneath the head of the penis, pinch the tip, go up and down, and make suction about a count of three. He's going to ejaculate all that baby gravy inside Mimi instead of all over you. All right? Take it out. Take it to the sink. Rinse water through it. Clean it with toy cleaner. Flip it inside out. Let it air dry. And she's ready for him again in the morning. So he behaves well at work. All right? So this is Mimi, our lifesaver. <laughs> All right, so if you need new positioning ideas, Ride em Cowgirl, tips for better bucking and positioning. This is one of my best selling products. There's so many great ideas, even for pregnant or overweight. So if you need some new ideas in the bedroom or out, this is an awesome book. We also have our door love swing, which I don't have a door to show you exactly how that works, but you have your arm restraints and your leg restraints. And they're neoprene, so it does not hurt, it's not going to be marked, but it puts you kind of like this position, so your honey can do you against the door, pull you out from the door, and then you're more of a swinging motion. My preference, though, is you have him stand against the door, so he takes the beating. You put those straps on your upper thighs, and then you can use your legs for momentum against the wall. So, yeah, think about that. That's a good position. You on top is always key. We gotta stay on top. It's the best for us, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, and then something a lot of people don't think about is the cleaning and storage of your toys. We get caught up in all this fun stuff up to this point, but they don't remember, we don't remember about cleaning and storing them properly. So you really wanna be sure you purchase Clean and Simple Toy Cleaner. This cleans and disinfects your toys without leaving a residue that can cause infection. Um, it doesn't break down the material your toys are made out of. 
So it's really, really great. And you want to use this over other stuff around the house because the other things can leave residue on your toys, which will stay on your toys and then can cause infection for you. They also can break down the material your toys are made out of. So really important to use a toy-specific cleaner. Clean and simple toy cleaner is what you want. Really easy to use. We also have these fabulous bags. Now, Lalo products come with their own version of this bag, but this is a Keep It Clean sugar stack. This keeps your toys clean, um, and how this works is the inside material has a special treatment to it called BioShield technology. It prevents bacteria, fungus, yeast, anything funky from getting on your toys that can cause issues and infection for you. So you put your clean toy in, and it keeps it clean. And if you have a little bit too much fun and stick it in here dirty, the party's not over, you don't have to throw the bag out. That treatment to this inside material will last up to 50 washes. So you can clean the bag if you put your dirty toy in and still use it again. So this is our sugar sack. All toys should be stored separately, because I don't know if any of you have had this